Hey, what's up guys? It's Nathan and Silas with Bark Life. We're working on the Armada. So we're going to show you how to install a intake, a basic little intake in the Armada. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice working on mom's car, doing something for her. We're usually working on the Supra or the MR2 or the SC300 back there. Uh, today we're working on my wife's daily. So stay tuned and check it out. Induction noise. Yeah, buddy. Sounds way cooler. Have we done any pixies yet? Have we looked in here? Your hair is disaster. Mom's going to kill me. Anyways, um, we've done no pixies. So this was your basic Amazon goodness. Do you want to hold the box, brother? Sure. This is inside. That that, well, that's, that's, what, that's what you're there for. Yo. Dude, we haven't driven our RC trucks. Yeah, in a while. I know, it needs to happen. Yeah, I was trying to talk Cousin Taylor into getting one. and Who are you today? Uh, we're not going to have time today. we got the intake to install. Uh, Dad and Cousin are going to be working on the MR2 stuff tonight. And I was hoping to get some uh, good old-fashioned muck in with you. Oh my goodness, it comes with instructions. How cool is that? All right, so I'm guessing that's our sweet, sweet high-end air filter. So this isn't an expensive. I think we paid like 120, 150. I don't know, something like that. So it's going to be your basic, basic kit. Um, I mean, honestly, intake is 90% sound, 10% fuel economy, and some fractional amount of performance. But oh, that's cool. yeah, looks better than the stock air box, right? Got some pipe edge. So, yep, the thing that separates just putting a pipe on there and whatever is that. Oh, we're dropping stuff. Why are you dropping stuff, Silas? It looks like it's a sanding paper. It is Cousin's sanding paper. So, yeah, basically you got this sort of stuff going on some bungs and some sensor ports, like that. So that's the difference. So we're going to go ahead and get this all apart and we're going to put it over here. Oh, we should give them a sound test. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to hear what it sounded like before and after, right? Because people are going to want to know that. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up so you guys get a before and an after. So let's fire it up, Psy Guy. What you got? Turn it. All right, so that's our before. Give it a little bit of a rev. There we go, we got us a rev. And that's what it sounds like. So that's the stock motor. All right, so Guy and I are going to go ahead and start removing this stuff. And I'm gonna be doing this one-handed, so judge me not. Yeah, right. We know they're going to judge us, don't we? Probably. He's judging me right now. No, no judging. No judging? Nope. No judgment's been passed by my son. Congratulations. And so it's been too long. What? You were just telling me nothing. So we got to disconnect all the sensors, all the basic stuffs. And then pop that tab through. I thought I had it. Hey, Saga, do you want to grab me a pair of pliers, brother? Um, sure. Pliers. Thanks, brother. Interesting little fellers, aren't they? These are old pliers. So, like I've said in other videos, my wife and I used to own a little antique shop, so whenever I was doing estates and buying out lots and stuff, I'd collect 
interesting old tools. So we have a lot of cool, interesting old tools laying around about. about. Next step is going to be to get this thing out of place, which we'll just go ahead and remove some of these. And then I'm guessing there's a mount or something holding this on here. So we got that there. So those handy dandy pliers Psy Guy brought us, which I've already lost, because that's how I roll. Uh, well, actually, let's take this. Let's take this whole cover off. Let's let's see what we're working with here. Is that there mount? So I've never taken this apart, if you can't tell. I could read the instructions, but that would be cheating. Interesting fact of all the cars I've owned. I've owned so many cars. This is my first ever V8 that I've kept. I mean, I've owned V8s, but only for... You're going to be the part guy. So. The part? No, you're just going to set it down over there. I just didn't want to throw it at you. All right, what do we got? Uh, yeah. So I'm just disconnecting all the stuff, Psy Guy. And one... How do you know you're disconnecting? Oh, I do. I do. I mean, I have to pretend like I do, but I, I do. <laughs> um, and people have a misconception on intakes like, oh, I'm going to get 29,000 horsepower and 45,000 torques and all this stuff. And I always undersell them. Whenever I'm installing one, I'm like, you know, you're probably going to get a few, maybe a few more miles per gallon, depending on how restrictive your stock system is. Um, you may end up getting, uh, you know, a few, few, but the biggest thing is the noise. I love induction noise. So you guys will get to hear what the difference is from factory to this here in a little bit. But getting some induction noise is huge. To me, anyway. I like the sound. So I have to take that little bugger. Oh, that's zip tied on. Straight up zip tied, brother. Zip tied. Zip tied. Zip tied and anchored. What's up? All right. Put that to our parts bin of unnecessary parts. Guess what else is unnecessary? Hmm? That boy. How did I know it was gonna be 10 millimeters down here? I was telling you 10 millimeter, right? Before we started, I said we need a 10 millimeter. No, you didn't. Then why did I grab this tool? I said we need to grab a 10 millimeter socket. You go, what's that for? And I said, take the cover off, and then there's gonna be some in there. No, Man, that kid's a hater. This car, this kid charges me in pizza and candy. I know. Oh yeah, dirty crook. No, I don't. Dirty crook. All right. I have oh, given. You just, you just do it. You're saying I'm just a good dad? Is that what you just said? Yeah. Oh, I just was fishing for that compliment, but I'll take it. Yeah. Something satisfying about something that should have taken like five seconds to do if I would have just had a ratchet and then I had to go get an extension and everything else and use my power tool but still somehow it makes me smile even though it took longer than it would have if I just would have not done that but that's okay I enjoy it right right Celeste we enjoy it what we do it for the love of it not for the <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore oh well um I don't know what he said but maybe not just negative all the time. I'm going to have to replace him. Ugh. I'm just telling you the truth. You don't even know what you're saying the truth to. You're just negative Nancy. What? What's up? And how come I just called you a good dad? That's true. You did give me some props there. I like that. You're a good son too. Even if you are a turkey. Be too? I am a turkey too. Wait, so, turkey, 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 turkey. so we're both turkeys? Well, I am your father, you are my son. So it's only fitting. Okay, so oh I see. Sneaky, 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 right there. What? 
There's another one up top right there. I didn't see. I didn't see that either. It was pretty snaky. All right, so let's take that handy dandy mile long extension off. Ugh. All right. But yeah, look how snaky that was. So if you're doing this, sneaky, sneaky. Is that like snacky, snacky? Uh, we have a pizza coming. We gotta hurry up. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. And I've been trying to hurry up so we can eat. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I, I don't know about hurrying up, but I am thinking. Okay, we got something else over here. What sneakiness lies beneath? Maybe it's just a pop deal, pop tab, unless it's underneath Silas. It is? Yeah. Those diabolical fellas. I don't know who made this. That's diabolical. That's underneath of it. Buddy. Mm -hmm. They could have just put it in there, right there, but instead they put it below. Which can only mean one thing. That they're... Diabolical. No, they're diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. Yeah, it's right down... I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's right behind there. Right underneath. So basically it's right there. Here, I'll get it started for you so it's not so tight. Because you're at a very disadvantaged angle there. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Look at that action. Boom. This kid just... Tearing it up right there. All right. Top of this motor has a LS look to it with the way those pipes and stuff sit. Weird. All right, that should be good, dude. You don't need it all the way off. Just loose enough to where you can slip her down. Okay. Okay. Want to pop it off? Sure. Want to pop it off? Sure. What's up? What's up? Is that the first part you've removed from a car? No, you probably removed other stuff. No, huh? I haven't. You haven't? That's it? No. Silas says, let's document this. Age seven, first part removed. Almost a, a well, actually, I have mo removed a tire. Okay, once. let's do this for mom. Let's do this for mom. Dude, what did you do to your hair? Mm. It's like, did I do that? Did you do yeah, that? I don't know. You scruffed it. I, I did scruff it. I'm sorry. You have very scruffable hair. All right, so. You know how. I know. Three hours later. Is that one of those cuts? So what I'm thinking is because I really don't want to take the time to remove all ten. Yeah, it's this. There ask, there's a bracket underneath. We have to take that flap down and then get into this and then remove this and then or or hear me out. We could grab a drill bit, line up with right there. So approximately right there, drill a hole. Stick that sweet 10 millimeter into that hole with our super duper long extension, remove it, and then pop this out. And then we don't have to remove 20 other bolts. What do you think? Sure. I agree. Let's go get that set up. All right, so we're going to drill that bad boy out. It's got a tab like it wanted to come off, so I'm going to guess that's what they wanted to We drill the hole. Into the plastic. All right, so I see it. My theories are correct. How am I gonna fix that? I don't use this anymore. Yep. We're just drilling it so we can get in there a little easier so we don't fight it. Okay. Now we're trying to drop our... This is what happens to 10 mils. Alright, one-handed for the win. Can we maintain one hand? I'm holding the camera and the drill at the same time. 
It is hard. You know, I appreciate that you see how difficult that is. So, here we go. What do we have out? What? Huh? Boom. You want to take that away? Sure. Sweet. All right. So now, now we can pull all the stuff that people lost down here. I don't know what that is. There's a, there's a honeybee. That's kind of sad. There's this tar trap. I don't know what that's for. Is this like sound deadening that failed or something? I don't know what this is. I know where it's going. Where do you think it's going? We're filing it. Okay. So, look at all that room for activities, brother. There's a lot of room. Yeah. So much room. All right. So, we have boom. Our air box. We have an air filter. Okay, this is why we spent the big bucks, brother. Right here. Can you guess what this is? Creepy neighbors driving by. Where do you think we spent the big bucks? Do you think we're going to leave this void here? No. What do you think we're going to do? Put a project on it. So what we bought, my friend, my son, is we bought a air box. So rather than using that stock air box, yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, you're going to hold on to that for me. Thanks. Metal. It is. So what we bought was a little partition box that we're going to build over here as part of it. So that was all included in the intake. And what that does is it separates our hot air from our exhaust manifold, which is inevitably cracked, because that's what these do. Um, our models like to crack. And then it gives us a separation. Boom. So we'll go ahead and get cracking on that here off camera, and we'll come back to you. All right, Silas and I got the air box installed. I need to trim that and that off, but not too bad, right? So next, we need to get the pipe installed, which, oh, and then that fastens there, and then I just use the stock cardboard down there. So we just need to get our coupler on here. Don't tell me to do this. Uh, yep, we'll put that on at the very last. So we got our hose deals there. Um, we'll put our sensor on after the fact, but mm -hmm. let's just slide this guy on. So you want that little tab right here to stick over the edge, right there, and then right, yeah, right there. Nice camera work. All right, over here, back to the intake. Over here, yeah. No, like up here. So you can see that. All right, so we're just gonna slide her down. Okay. All right. So we're just putting that on. All right, tighten this one down, and I put it backwards because I'm rude. At least it's covered up. All right. I'm going to take the stock sensor off the air box. It only slips in one way, so that's good. I don't like how much of a gap there is on this. I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of the heat shield. So, that is the finished product other than trimming that, but there we go. All right, we need to de-dust this motor. We take it up in the woods all the time. And it is very dirty, but that is the idea. Dirty. No, dirty. Oh, dirty. Dirty. Dirty paws. All right. So there we go. We're back in action. Shall we get a sound test? All right. Go ahead. One more. There you go. That's the induction noise. Silas and I's favorite part is what, Silas? I'm getting to do a test drive. Test drive indeed. Let's do this thing, brother. Induction noise. Yeah, buddy. Sounds way cooler. Picked up a little bit of low-end response for sure. Um, 
Yeah, it was definitely a plugged, plugged up filter. All right, so it sounds pretty darn good. What do you think, Buster? Yeah. That's a lot better rev. Sounds way better, huh? Mm -hmm. Before it was like... That was a fun little drive. 